Hi, my name is Simon Rumo and I'm part of the fourth year Block 2 of Computer Science in Pamantasang Lungsod ng Manila. And this is our individual project for CS Elective 2 Lecture. And our top 5 is, which is VS Code. Edit, build, and debug with ease at its heart. Visual Studio Code features a lightning fast source code editor. Perfect for day-to-day -day use. Best Code short for Visual Studio Code is a popular code editor that has a variety of features that help developers write debug and deploy code more efficiently. And here are the some features of VS Code include First, Code Editing VS Code provides syntax highlighting, auto-completion, and code formatting for a variety of programming languages making it easy for developers to write and edit code. The second one is Integrated Terminal. VS Code comes with an integrated terminal, allowing developers to execute commands and run script without having to leave the editor. The third one is Git Integration. VS Code has built-in support for Git allowing developers to easily manage source code changes and collaborate with other developers. The fourth one is debugging. VS Code has a powerful debugger that supports multiple language, languages and allows developers to set breakpoints, step through code, and examine variables. variables. The last one is extension. VS Code has a rich ecosystem of extensions that provide additional functionality and support for specific programming languages, frameworks, and tools. And here are the some advantages and, adva and disadvantages of VS Code. The first one is excellent support for multiple programming languages. Visual Studio Code offers great support for a wide range of programming languages including Java, Python, C++, JavaScript, and more. It includes features like syntax, site lighting code, completion, and language-specific tools that make it a great choice for developers working with a multiple languages. The second one is a wide range of features. Visual Studio Code offers many features that make it a powerful code editor. Some of the key features include Git integration, debugging tools and extensions that allow you to customize your workflow. The third one is high customizability. Visual Studio Code is highly customizable, allowing you to configure the interface and keyboard shortcuts to your liking. This makes it a great choice for developers who want to tailor their coding environment to their specific needs. The fourth one is large community of developers. Visual Studio Code has a large community of developers who create and maintain extensions and plug plugins that add new functionality to the editor. This means you can find a wide range of extensions to help with your coding workflow. The last one of advantages of VS Code is fast and efficient. Visual Studio Code is fast and efficient with a small footprint. This makes it a great choice for developers who want a code editor that won't slow down their computer. The first disadvantage of VS Code is overwhelming for beginners. Visual Studio Code can be overwhelming for beginners who are new to coding and may not need all the features it offers. It can take some time to learn how to use the editor effectively. The second one is requires more configuration. Visual Studio Code can sometimes feel like it requires, requires more configuration than other code editors. This can be a disadvantage for the developers who prefer a more streamlined setup. The last one is resource intensive. 
Visual Studio Code can be resource intensive, especially when running multiple extensions or larger projects. This can be a disadvantage for the developers who have older or less powerful computers. Next one is PS Code is best for use in any programming languages. Visual Studio Code is a pre-coding editor that helps you to start coding quickly. Use it to code in any programming languages without switching editors. Visual Studio Code has support for many languages including Python, Java, C++, JavaScript, and more languages. Installation Process The first one or the first step to install the application of Visual Studio Code is visit the official website of the Visual Studio Code using any web browser like Google Chrome, Microsoft, Edge, etc. Step 2. Press download for the Windows button on the website to start the download of the Visual Studio Code application. Step 3. When the download finishes, then the Visual Studio Code can icon appears in the Downloads folder. Step 4. Click on the installer icon to start the installation process of the Visual Studio Code. Step 5. After the installer opens, it will ask you for accepting the terms and conditions of the Visual Studio Code. Click on I accept the terms the agreement and then click the next button. Step 6. Choose the location data for running the Visual Studio Code and then it will ask you for browsing the location. Then click on next button. Step 7. Then it will ask for beginning the installing setup. Click on the install button. Step, step 8. After clicking on install, it will take about 1 minute to install the Visual Studio Code on your device. Step 9. After the installation setup for Visual Studio Code is finished, it will show a window like this. Click the Launch Visual Studio Code checkbox, then click Next. Last D. After the previous step, the Visual Studio Code windows open successfully and now you can create a new file in the Visual Studio Code window and choose a language of yours to begin your programming journey. And this, and this is the demonstra demonst demonstration on how to use the application. The second in our top 5 is Sublime Text. Sublime Text is one of the most popular text editors in the world. It's jam-packed with powerful features like multi-line editing. And this is the features of Sublime Text. First one is auto-completion. By default, Sublime Text will automatically show the completion pop-up when a user is editing source code or markup but not within the pros in comments, strings or markups. Pressing the ESC key will hide the completion pop-up. To manually show the completion pop-up, you must press the CTRL space key. The second one is quickly insert text and code. Quickly insert text and code with sublime text snippets and if you are getting tired of cutting and pasting or typing out the same code all the time, fortunately Sublime Text makes it easy to quickly insert code snippets that you define. The third one is the 
jump the cursor. Then you are creating something in a text editor code or an, in an essay or a blog post or even a fiction. You often find yourself wanting to jump your cursor to another location in your text. But in Sublime Text, it offers you to several ways to do this to do that. For example, to jump to a specific line, function, method, selector, header, or an ID. The last one is select multiple lines, words, and columns. Select multiple lines, words, and columns in Sublime Text. You want to quickly turn this into an ordered list in Markdown, which means placing a followed by space at the beginning of each line. You could do this manually, but Sublime Text make it easy, make it make it very easy to automate the task. And here are the advantages and disadvantages of Sublime Text. The first advantages of Sublime Text is it is a user-friendly and way in web tools. Positive user-friendly and intuitive, uh, it is a pretty simple and straightforward software that doesn't take much to learn how to use it. The second one is aesthetically pleasing. Uh, the sublime text design of a program, especially the colors, the colors you use when a code type is selected is pleasing to the eye. The last one is makes code more readable. Being able to take the wool of a chunk of code and open it up in the software with the colors indicating types of elements within the code make it much easier to read the code and to locate errors and do complex work with it. The disadvantages of Sublime Text is the first one is auto recognize code type. It would be nice to have it recognize what type of code without manually selecting it every time or even just a default setting for your most commonly used code type. Being able to run or test the code without using another software, it would be very helpful. And the third one is invalid code detector. For code like just for code like CSS, something that flags anything that isn't a valid standard code type, uh, the, it would be the disadvantages of Sublime Text. Sublime Text best used in Python. Writing source code Sublime Text is most commonly used to write Python code from scratch. However, it can also be used to write C++ programs, while some people might use it to write Java code. But this is not recommended. Luckily, according to the Chobe Index, Python is the most popular programming language. Installation process of Sublime Text. The first one is Download the EXE package from the official website. Step 2. Now, run the executable file. This defines the environment variables. When you run the executable file, you can observe the following window on your screen. Then, click Next. Step 3. Choose a destination location to install, to install Sublime Text and click Next. Step 4. Verify the destination folder and click Install. Now click Finish to complete the installation. And lastly, upon a successful installation, your editor will appear as shown below. Demonstration on how to use the application.
the third in our top five web development tools is Figma. Figma is a collaborative interface design tool that's taken the design world by storm. Unlike Sketch or Adobe Illustrator, which are standalone application, Figma can be run entirely from a web browser and therefore works not only on Macs but also on PCs running Windows or Linux and even on Chromebooks. It is also free to use. And here are the some features of Figma. Accessibility and collaboration. No matter the tools a team uses, uh, there, is, there needs to be a way to work together. Present projects, gather feedbacks, and keep stakeholders in the loop. All of these features are available in Figma. The second one is flexibility to iterate and produce deliverables. Figma is flexible and can be used as a collaborative whiteboard for sketching initial ideas and iterating everything from wireframes to high fidelity max apps. The third one is ability to build prototypes and test. Build and publish interactive prototypes and test them directly on smartphones. All these features are from Figma. Establishing a single source of truth. Figma is an excellent way to define product design system that resides completely online and it's a single source of truth by default. No more wondering. Uh, this is the latest version. Smooth handoff. Just share a link with developers and they have access to the to all the information needed to implement the design red lines, measurements, and graphic assets ready to be exported. Versatility to be customized and improved. This is the last features of Figma. In Figma, the plugins FEI allows teams to write their own plugins or tap into the broader user community and extend the tool with new des design tool. And here are the some advantage and disadvantage of Figma. The first one is internet connection. Uh, the Figma desktop app can be used without an active internet connection. You just need the internet to open the file and then you work continuously while being offline. And there are the second one is plugins. There are some plugins that cannot be used with web browsers. The desktop app enables you to use those plugins seamlessly. The, sec the second, I, the third, and the last advantage of Figma is download easily. You can download the app easily without spending a single penny. The disadvantage of Figma is first the collaboration. You cannot collaborate with other team members and receive their notification and it doesn't show whether your team members are active or not. The second is lags. To use the online version you need to go you need a good speed internet connection. Otherwise you will get access to limited features apart from this. You also need a good system with powerful spec to use without any lags. Figma, is, Figma design is best used for people to create, share, and test designs for websites, mobile apps, and other digital products and experiences. Installation process The step one for the installation of Figma, first you need to visit the official Figma website and their you will see a colorful home, home page and an option to sign up. Though if you have plans to use Figma online version, then you should complete the sign up process. Step 2. To download the Figma desktop app directly, you have to scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the downloads option, which is based under the resource section. 
And on the next page, you will see the Figma desktop download option for various platforms including Mac OS and Windows. Choose the link according to your device and soon it will start the, down the downloading process when your file is downloaded. Simply install it and run the desktop version. Demonstration on how to use the application. The fourth in our top five web development tools is Angular. Angular is a TypeScript-based free and open-source single-page web application framework led by the Angular team at Google and by a community of individuals and corporations. Angular is a complete rewrite from the same team that built AngularJS. So here are the features of Angular. First one is dependency injection. AngularJS framework consists of an inbuilt dependency injection, which helps developers with seamless software development dependency injections. Angular enables users to write modular services and inject them wherever they are needed. This improves the testability and reusability. The second one is data binding. The most effective Angular feature is its two-way data binding system. The view layer exactly represents the model layer and they stay imperfect. Data binding Angular enables users to effortless, effortlessly move data from JavaScript code to the view and react to user, user, events, user events without having to write any code. The third one is code reusability. The architecture of the Angular is a method to organize and structure your web application's code. It's based on templates, components, and services. This mechanism promotes code's reusability. For instance, you can define your service which can be utilized across multiple modules, real-time testing. The fourth feature is TypeScript. TypeScript is the superscript of JavaScript. The main advantage of using TypeScript is you, you can detect and correct errors in the code while writing with a TypeScript. Angular offers a seamlessly experience to the developers and TypeScript is the top choice for the development in 2019. The last one is testing. Angular uses the Jasmine testing framework. The Jasmine framework provides multiple functionalities to write different kinds of test cases. This mechanism promotes code reusability code. For instance, you can define your services which can be utilized across multiple. And here are the advantages and disadvantages of Angular. The first one is maintained by Google. The best things about Angular is that it is developed and maintained by Google as it backed by a trusted company. Trust is well established within the community. Developers believe in the framework and in the fact that it will be maintained and issues will be resolved, of course, with the help of the community contributions. The second one is large community and ecosystem. Angular, Angular is actively maintained and has a large community and ecosystem. You can find lots of material on this framework as well as many useful third-party tools. Currently, Angular has around over 63k stars on GitHub, a clear indication of the popularity of the framework. The fourth uh, the third one is support for lazy loading. An angular, an angular module is a logical unit of code that performs a certain task or takes care of a certain responsibility in the application. A normal angular application can be broken down into the multiple modules where each module is delegated a certain responsibility. 
A module can comprise of component types, directives, or more modules. The disadvantages of Angular first is steeper learning curve. While Angular is great, uh, it may not be the case for complete for a complete beginner. Even if you have a, have experience with HTML, CSS, and JS, you may feel a little bit uncomfortable with the steep learning curve that it has because it brings its own notion and philosophy to the table that you need to work around. The second disadvantages of Angular is too many versions. Angular has been involved evolving. It started out a JavaScript framework Angular JS and now the current version is Angular 9 with a total of six major releases in between. This can cause confusion especially for beginners. The last one is lot of boilerplate code. Uh, if you are building a simple app, there is a lot of boilerplate code that the application requires. Although with tools like stack blitz, it has become easier to try to try the code and ideas and experiment without having to install anything on your computer. But if you decide to start developing developing an Angular app on your system, you need to install a bunch of things and the most simple, the lowered application will have a lot of code that you do not care about. Angular is one of the most popular JavaScript frame frameworks that can be used for dynamic web applica application development. Installation process. Step one of the installation process of Angular you can go to the official website of Node.js from where you can download the latest Node version. Step 2. Install Node as per your system configuration. Once you download the Windows version of Node, open the installer and continue with the default settings. Step 3. Accept the agreement and click on Next. Step 4. Keep the default path as it is. Step 5. Keep features as they press next. Step 4. You can option out of this step as well. It's not necessary to install native module as it consumes around 3GB of space on your system. Step 7. Now open the command from PowerShell in your Windows system and run the below command node-d. The system confirms that Node.js version 20 is installed demonstration on how they, to use the application. The last of our top 5 web development tools is GitHub. GitHub is an online software development platform. It's used for storing, tracking, and collaborating on software projects. And here are, the, here are some features of GitHub. The first one is Easy Project Management. GitHub is a place where project managers and developers come together to coordinate, track, and update their work so that projects are transparent and stay on schedule. The second one is increase safety with packages. 
packages can be published privately within the team or publicly to the open source community. The packages can be used or used by downloading them from GitHub. The third one is effective team management. GitHub helps all the team members stay on the same page and organize moderation tools like issue and pull request lacking help the team to focus on the code. The fourth one is improved code writing. Pull request helps the organi organization to review, develop, and propose new code. And team members can di discuss any implementation and proposal through this before changing the source code. The last is increased code safety. GitHub uses dedicated tools to identify and analyze vulnerabilities to the, to the code that other tools tend to miss. Development teams everywhere work together to secure the, so the software supply chain from, the, from start to finish. And here, are, here is the advantage and disadvantage of GitHub. The first one is collaboration code. GitHub is the ultimate tool for collaborative coding. Firstly, GitHub contains powerful versioning software so that it can handle branching and merging easily. This means multiple people can work on the same piece of code online or offline, which will be saved in the same Git. The second one is markup. Basically, markup allows you to use a simple text editor to write formatted documents. GitHub, like many online repository services, supports markup up for issue everything for issue tracking user comments wikis everything with so many others programming languages to learn for setting up projects it's really a big benefit to have your content input in a format without having to learn yet another system the third one is backup using an online repository should never be considered considered impalliable but it provides a nice and simple way to have code version history available online regardless of what happens to it to your local machine and for some people this is enough but we stress that a multi-solution backup plan is always the best the disadvantage of github is difficult for beginners GitHub is a very powerful tool and so it is hard to get the hang of as a beginner. New users can find the many different options and ways of doing things in GitHub, confusing and overwhelming in particular. Many people struggle with GitHub's many intuitive commands and the inconsistency between commands and arguments in the software. The last one is security. GitHub does offer private repositories on both free and paid tires, but even private repositories have their issues for high value. Intellectual property, you're putting all of this, this, this in the hands of GitHub, as well as anyone who has a login, which like many sites has had security breaches before. And, and that's all. GitHub is an increasingly popular programming resource used for code sharing. It's a social networking site for programmers that many companies and organizations use to facilitate project management and collaboration. Installation process Step 1. Navigate to the download pages of, of official Git, Git website and download git client for windows step 2 running the installer file the wizard will prog progress with the usual following step welcome screen license agreement installation folder choose the components to be installed start menu configuration and along with this wizard proceeds further with configuration specific which will be 
explained in the consequence step. Step 3, adding the path environment. Step 4, configuring the line ending conversion. Demonstration on how to use the application. Thank you for watching and listening.